Hey there! So it's April, Mystery Month, and we are on the Express to Zurich. We're doing murder on the Zurich Express. So let's go see. I hear some other passengers roaming around behind us, and they've been shutting doors, and it looks like we're s wherever we are, there's snow outside, so I have a feeling we've been snowed in somehow. So I see a chest above my head, so let's, uh, I'm just curious if that did anything. Let's see, paper, we might need the paper. Rules and background. This is a map by Felonius Wizard. And I had seen this a while back when I was looking at, hey there and wanted to play it and so now we are going to play it so here is the background let's see what our storyline is it is December 1927 Charles Lindbergh has flown the Atlantic in May earlier this year as the first person to do so alone you are inspector Arm Armand Bonneville of the super Secret police? That secret police? In Paris. You've just been to Switzerland to hand over a prisoner, a common job, not really in your capacity, but the, commi the commissaire isn't willing to forget about your last mistake on about Charles Lindbergh. The great flying hero isn't a spy. <laughs> oh dear. All right, you didn't have any hard evidence now you're on a train from Zurich to Lyon before switching to the Paris train to head back home for the Christmas holidays. But it seems like you will be detained a while. You've just decided against eating your supper in the dining carriage and asked the porter to bring you some sandwiches when the train got stuck under an avalanche. All is well. No one has gotten hurt and the steam engine is keeping the pressure up. After your meal, you lay down for a while. Again, there's a disturbance. The steward comes rushing into your compartment and yells, Murder! The chief conductor arrives some seconds later and asks you to examine the victim. Maybe you can solve this murder. A murder. The com commissaire may give you some proper cases to deal with if you do. Now read the rules. So maybe he's the steward and he's coming in to tell us that there's a dead person. Right, let's see the rules real quick. Uh, usual stuff, no breaking, placing, uh, peaceful, investigation, you will come across different things. Six locations with descriptions in book and quills. Ten trained personnel talking through common, oh, command blocks, oh cool. One of these personnel, the telegraph man, delivers several telegrams to you during your investigations. There are eight suspects who must trade B and Q's with you. You must trade B and Q's in order to get their statements. Finally, there's the postcard at the back of the train, which contains one quick way to the Paris office to conclude the map. There's also some walls of tips. If you feel stuck, answer a question correctly and you will get a tip. Gameplay is rather easy, as is the case. Examine the train, get the feel for the atmosphere, listen and read what you can before you start to dig in. It is possible to solve the case without anyone, uh, without anything else than the first impressions. For each telegram, you get outside of the postcard, you will lose one point on the achievement meter in the Paris office. Each tip answered in the postcard will also drop one point on the meter, as will a wrongful answer of the question of who murdered the victim. No one will lie to you, but they may not tell you everything that they know of the facts. Opinions of others are of no use for you. Hmm. As soon as you think you know who murdered the victim, go to the postcard and travel to Paris. There you have to answer one question. Go to your commissaire 
to see how good you were. Good luck. All right. Well, that's exciting. Okay, so let's see. Let's put our books over here so we can look at them later if we need to. Okay, so let's see. I wonder if I should... Nah, because I spawn in here, so I should... This is where I should... This is where I should end up, right? Just in case, let's take a nap. He did say I laid down for a little while, so... We are sticking with the storyline. Alrighty, we are in room 29. And it says to get familiar with the lay of the train. So let's just look around a little bit. Okay, here's the telegrams, and this is where it said, I think we get our clues, but if we do that, we get, um, so. Okay, so. Oh, wait, that might be to Paris, because it said something about telegrams and going to Paris. Alright, here's room 28. This is my neighbor's room. Let's go see, is there anything in my neighbor's room? No. Okay, let's, uh, 27. Oh, is, are you the steward? We all dress alike. It's hard to tell. Okay, I don't think there's anything in that one. Room 26. Oops, lost my, I keep losing my mouse for some reason. Uh, I mean, not my mouse, my cursor keeps flying out of the window. Uh, 25 is the doctor. Hmm. Has the doctor been alerted yet? Let's see. Okay, at 6 p.m. I had just poured me a brandy. I was called into the dining room. One of the passengers was being ill. Yeah, mildly so. How do I talk again? Uh, mildly so. Hey, steward. This is my, this is my uh, mission here, not yours. That man proved to be stone dead. Acute poisoning. The poison must have been in his food. Okay. So that means don't trust the cook. Alright, so we talked to the doctor. He says the guy is um, probably poisoned. Hmm. What is this? Just the restroom? I think that's just the restroom. Okay, I don't see any way to go there, so let's go here. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, nothing to the sides. So, what is this? This does not have. Okay, this must just be a little closety room. Oh, bar lion. Oh, bar, okay. This is the bar. So is this where the guy was eating and got poisoned? Hello. Let's see, I don't think so. So, no, nothing going on in the bar. But this is the lounge. Okay. Oh, look at that. The lounge by a location. Okay. Let's see what the lounge says. The lounge carriage four. Wait a minute. Does that mean this is the fourth clue? This, what does that mean? A chessboard with an interrupted game. You have been interested in cigarette brands. In the ashtray beside the chessboard lies five butts of the same brand. Lucky strike. Lucky strike. Okay. Uh, actually, it's... Let's hang on to that. I think we'll hang on to clue books just for now. <laughs> I'm uh, using, I think I'm using Good Morning Craft texture pack. So we're getting some interesting passengers. Okay, so they're saying that there were lucky strikes in an ashtray next to a chessboard. The library. See what happens. And, yeah, probably should go see the dead body first, huh? Yeah. That dead body's not going anywhere. Alright, library, a location. Let's see, what 
does that say? All right, carriage four, okay. You notice that one person has been sitting in the library this afternoon. In the ashtray, you find butts of the cigarette brand Smyrna. Okay, so that's not the person who was playing chess in the uh, in the um, lounge. So, and I'm willing to bet that this probably meets up. Yeah, see, okay. So, let's see. What is this? Should be car number three, maybe. <laughs> the diner. So this is another small room. Diner. Okay. Now this is where we should find our dead body. Oh, and I think I know where he is too. Look at this guy. He looks pretty dead. Yeah. Yeah, he don't look too good. <laughs> the victim. <laughs> well, that settles it. There's our dead guy. He ate the soup. And who is this? Maybe this is the waiter? Okay, I was in the kitchen at the time, viewing the entrance from carriage two. I could see who entered from that side. You could? Well, tell me. Uh, first, there was a group of three. I'm not sure who they were, so either there's three killers, or someone must have entered from carriage four. Okay, so he could see from the kitchen in the, in the next carriage and he saw who entered first there were three but he doesn't know who they were so why does he think someone entered from carriage number four hmm. I don't know let's see the dining room all right let's find let's get a view of our our um, victim over there all right carriage three the murdered. No outer signs of violence. Probably poison. It doesn't seem to be anything stolen. The victim's name is John Moneybelt. The used ashtrays have been carried to the kitchen but are not emptied yet. Alright. Well, that means we need to go see the ashtrays from the dining room and see if any of them are lucky strikes or whatever the other one was. I don't remember the name of the other one. Okay, that looks like that's probably the kitchen. Yep. Let's go see. Who's in the kitchen? Can we talk to somebody in the kitchen? Who are you? Oh, the chef. Between five and six, there were six passengers seated. I don't remember who they were. First one came alone, and then a group of three. Oops. Uh, came alone, and then a group of three. I just lost my place. Hold on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Three to five, six, six passenger seat. I don't remember who they were. For. Okay. First one came alone and then a group of three and then the rest. So there was the one by himself and there were four and then there was one or two extras that walked in the door after that. Okay. Alright. Hey, here's a chest. Does it say the kitchen? It does say the kitchen. <coughs> Alright, kitchen. Um, the ashtrays from the dining room have not been emptied and they draw your attention. You also notice that the pipe smoker must have been in here just minutes before you. The butts from the ashtrays, Miss Blanche, Corona Cigars, Smyrna, Kyazim Emin, and pipe tobacco. All smokers do smoke in the evening after dinner, as you know. Okay, so no lucky strike, which makes me think lucky strike is a little odd. And maybe suspect. Okay, but I think the guy from the, the library smoking the, the ones starting with S, probably not our guy. 